lash on my wrist and then it just started clawing along my like face and then my legs and I was just kind of screaming the whole time. I bet you were. A Colorado man with Arkansas ties speaks for the first time since being attacked by a mountain lion while running. 31-year-old Travis Kaufman is originally from Mountain Home, Arkansas. He moved to Colorado five years ago, eager to explore the outdoor lifestyle. And that's exactly what he was doing on February 4th while running along a trail. But as Noel Brennan reports, Kaufman had no idea a predator was following him, waiting for the right moment to pounce. Just a show of hands. Uh, who all is disappointed that I'm not, in fact, Chuck Norris? <laughs> Cameras waited 10 days to hear Travis Kaufman talk about his run at Horsetooth. About a quarter mile into that run, I ended up hearing uh, some pine needles rustle, like a stick break. And I turned around and uh, just was pretty bummed out to see a mountain lion chasing after me. The lion lunged and went for Travis's face. Tried to throw it off me at that point. And then we took a little tumble down the south side of the trail and down there just kind of had a, a little wrestling match at which point I was able to get on top of it. He grabbed some sticks with his good hand. My right hand was still locked in its jaws. Tried to, to get at its neck to see if I could uh, stab it in the neck to get it to release. The sticks didn't work, nor did a rock. At that point, more drastic measures were necessary. The 5'10", 155-pound warrior pinned the young cat on its back. He was able to kind of shift my weight and get a foot on its neck. He and choked the lion until it stopped uh, moving, made it off the trail, neck, and hitched a ride from a stranger to the hospital. Yeah, a few of my close friends, uh, they heard about it the next day just because they had sent me the article uh, <laughs> that an unknown jogger was attacked. I was like, well, that was actually me, and they freaked out. Travis and his girlfriend, Annie, are new to this attention. Yes, there was one that said something about how he's not going to have any trouble getting dates, and I just thought, nope, he won't, because <laughs> I'll right. be taking him on some dates. <laughs> Travis uh, is alive and well, and one. thinks more about luck uh, than legend. Chuck would have come out without a scratch. You know him. <laughs> Oh, he is one lucky man. He made it out of that. Kaufman needed, get this, nearly 30 stitches to his cheek, nose, and wrist. He also had several puncture wounds from the mountain lion's teeth and claws. His advice to all of you runners out there, don't run alone and just forget about the earbuds. You need to hear what's going on. Yeah, some good advice there. Glad he's okay.